Okay, I am actually looking at some of the Jane Davenport product that I discovered. Yes, I, th I know I had a couple of these um, sitting out, which tells me I probably have a lot more of her collection than even I know. So what I'm trying to do is gather a lot of it up right now. I have come across a few things that I had in her collection. So I'm looking through her book, and I know when I started her collection, um, yeah, I was trying to see if I liked her or I like her heart, but I don't think I ever really just dwelled in, you know, just started doing it like I did the other ones. So as I was looking through, there are quite a few things that I saw in her books that I actually have. Like I have these, her wash pencils, those, I mean, not pencils, the ink pens. I forget what they call them. I have that collection somewhere. I have her paints. Um, I have some of these pens. I'll just have to come across them, which made me say, okay, I have a lot of her tools too. Um, that just made me think, I think I have these pencils here. Um, but it made me look at her book and say, you know what? I don't think I ever really gave her a try. And I think this is what made me really want to give her a try. And I have quite a few of her stencils. I do know because they had faces and stuff. So I decided I would actually do a series on this. Not today. I have to actually look at it, see what I'm doing. And I wanted to use, look at here, not those. Um, but this is great for just. I guess you could use it for a palette like she did, or you could actually just go in there and yeah, paint some of those faces up. I guess you could make them palettes too. You could show all the colors, show how you uh, use your paint, whatever. But this is what I want to use. So <clears throat> this collection is just a collection of her faces. Some of these... Um, I actually cut out because I'm going to use those. I'm not going to put them on my tracing, uh, you know, that light, uh, because I'm trying to figure out what makes it work. This is heavy enough that I can actually put on a piece of tracing paper or a piece of what's that black paper that you can actually transfer the image. I think that's what I'm going to do and put these in my glue book and practice those. Um, Images are, I may, I don't have a di, uh, Jane Davenport book. I think she has a art journal. Oh, wait, yeah, I have one of them. Let's see, every time I think about something, I think about something else that I have. Yep, there you go. That's one of her art journals. Um, it has, oh, the paper is pretty good. I might just go ahead and use that and practice with some of her faces, you guys. So I do want to do that. Um, gosh, look at this. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna concentrate on the bodies right now. I think I'm actually going to give her a try and start with the faces. And I think if I practice it and play with it enough, I'll be able to actually like working in her book um, I think I'm a paint over her. I like her art, but that says Jane Davenport art on the book. So yeah, I probably will change that art on that book or um, use the book, use the book, but put my art on top of it so that her image is still there. But my art is on the top of it. Yes. So this is what I'm going to do with this Jane Davenport project and what I'll do is set the entire thing up like I want the other ones. I have stencils and everything, but what I'm going to do is make one of those trays again, and I know I am using the 
Ouch. Ouch. I am using this box here. Um, and I'm going to cut it up. Yes, it's the postal box. I think if you go in there and just start taking them to use for crafts, they get offended by it. But I have these here. Um, I've had them for quite a while because I used to send out a lot of postage and stuff. But now I only have these. I have some without this medium black rate box. I'm going to keep this because this box only costs $15 and some change, I think, to send it unless you go and it's one rate anyway but if you use the one that just says um i don't even know what it says but it does not say medium flat rate box the box will cost you a lot more to mail wherever you're mailing so um you guys might want to pay attention to that i pay some stupid postages i know uh because i didn't have the correct envelope and be aware that they do not put those envelopes that says flat rate. They don't put them out. Well, that's the experience that I'm having with my post office. They only put out the boxes that don't say that. And you actually have to ask for the medium flat rate. Even when I go pick them up, they're not there. Though they have the place for them, they never have any. So they say, and then they say you have to order them online. Anyway, enough for that box because it's easy just to use a box that you get in the mail from someone. And yeah, because you're going to cover it anyway. And another thing I found out about my collection, or maybe I have that question. Does Jane Davenport have paper? Oh my gosh, yes. No, she has tissue paper, I think. Yes, you know what, you guys, I have all of her tissue paper and stuff, too. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make that caddy for Jane Davenport. I'll collect up all her stuff because as I think about it, I'm thinking of stuff that I have that goes with her collection. So, yeah. Um, and then, too, like I said, I'll show you when I come back to this project. But gather up all your stuff. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gathering up everything that I could gather up that is in one collection and I'm actually going to um I'm going to organize it that way so I think the caddies will help me right now and um I'm coming across more and more and more stuff and that's stuff that I'm finding in here in the house you guys this is in my scrap room so I know when I go out to my she shed I'll end up coming up with a lot more. I have loads of stuff that should be in that caddy. And it's by Jane Davenport. Um, yeah, and then this is more stuff by Vicki Bolton. I like to use her papers for my Julie Nutting stuff. It's, fun. it's funny that I have a lot of her papers, but I don't know that Jane Davenport had any. I'm going, I think because it's only certain things of Vicky's that I have. I know for the papers, uh, I have a bunch of her crayons. Oh, wait, she had, I have more stuff of stuff that she have. Her mixed media, mixology stuff, like her glitter sets and stuff like that. I have a lot of that stuff, but I'm coming across stuff as much as I think I have stuff together. I really don't, you guys. Yeah, I have loads of stuff that I think what I'm going to do is keep together. Um so that I better use it and find it a lot better. So I know I have loads of these different um, water soluble. I, I, yeah, I'll call them, um, what's those, folios? Um, no, those, uh, yeah, portfolios. That's what these remind me of, though they're not oil. I have not even played with this stuff. So I'm going to find all of these colors that I have because they also sell them in like the blues, the greens, the whatever. And I know I purchased a bunch of them from a sale and from, and those are the colors. Those are, and these are the colors of those. But I have quite a few of those. So I'm going to make sense of this stuff that I have right here uh, with the Jane with the Jane Davenport and 
I'll see if I have to make a separate one for her because I also have a collection art by Marlene. I like her stuff, but I see her collection growing for me because to me, art by Marlene is a totally new um, uh, project product for me. So I see me actually doing her a whole different caddy. I am also going to make a card you guys for my granddaughter it's her birthday and she's 13 is she she she's gonna get me i think she's going on 13. um let's see oh that's a lot my granddaughter is i think 15. she's either 13 or 15 and i think 15 seems more like the number because, yes, my grandson is 17 on his birthday. So, yeah, I'm going to make her a card, you guys, and I'll pro I'll come back and show you. Uh, she's a teenager, so she need a teenager card, right? <laughs> yeah, so I'll come back and I'll show you guys when I do all of this. I'm going to show you actually how I... I'm rediscovering stuff and I want to use it. So yeah, that right there is a totally different video and I'll show you what I do with that stuff. But in the meantime, I thank you all for watching and yeah, this is about me organizing and hopefully I'll have a project to bring back to you all soon um, using Jane Davenport uh, supplies. But anyway... Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to organize that until the next video. Thank you all uh, for stopping by. Thanks all of my subscribers. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you all. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.